Yo, what's going on guys, Happy Kuna back. Today, we finally have the fourth and last episode of our Clash of Clans Facts series. Whoa! I started this series way back in January of this year and it's been a heck of a journey, researching days on end to discover more facts, but unfortunately, I think I squeezed the internet dry for all the facts it had. So this is probably the last episode, unless I talk to Super So and they share some top secret information anyways with that being said all three episodes will be at the end of the video and also in the description below so let's get right into it let's do this if you have negative gems the game won't give you a free offer it'll be in red as if you can't afford it according to darian and a ama flags should have never been added to clash of clans in fact the reason why they stopped adding them was to avoid any political problems that may arise they won't remove the ones we already have though because that'll just make people who have the flags a bit upset changing your clan name is possible but it can also get you banned a while back someone named their new clan supercell but since this is against the terms of service, Supercell changed their clan name to Clash Horrifics and also gave the leader a chance to change it. Is this a good way to experience something that rarely ever happens? Well, probably not. Because it is against the terms of service and Supercell was being nice this time. So, um, yeah, don't try. There's a way to buy a gold pass for your friends at store.supercell.com, but it isn't available in all countries yet. Still, I like where this is going. I don't think many people knew this one. The wizard's old death sound used to sound like this. The Clash of Rama series was originally written by three Simpsons writers. In the description of the Giga Tesla, it states the Giga Tesla will blast enemies away, leaving the air tasting faintly like coconut and metal. This is a reference to the movie Iron Man 2 when Tony Stark puts the new element in his arc reactor and he says <laughs> ah, it like coconut. Metal. If you've ever noticed that the books in the game are almost a thousand gems but only 500 gems for a hero book this was intentional. The reason it's cheaper for a hero book is because heroes are mostly upgraded with Dark Elixir and it takes a lot more grinding to get enough of it to upgrade it. To offset this, hero books are made cheaper because it takes longer to get the resource. Think of it as a discount for the amount of time it takes to get Dark Elixir. The Dark Elixir Barracks was a community suggestion, specifically by a user named I Like Trains on the Clash of Clans forums. The P.E.K.K.A.'s appearance was changed in June 17, 2013, but one P.E.K.K.A. related thing remained unchanged, the P.E.K.K.A.'s helmet on top of the level 10 barracks. It's kinda hard to tell since they look, well, pretty much the same, but let me know if you can spot the differences. The reason why you don't have a gold name after buying the pass as you do in Clash Royale is because the team felt like it would be best to keep everyone looking the same because people who buy gems or the pass usually get antagonized for spending money in the game. Talho 9 only had one expo when it was released on October 27th of 2012. It wasn't until the 10th of January, two months later, that a second one was added. There used to be no gem confirmation for the majority of the game. Yeah, you know that thing that says, buy this for 50 gems or spend 50 gems here? Yeah, no, that was in there. New town halls are usually spaced between 18 months. This is so that free to play players who finally reach the new town hall can have time to max out and by the time there's a new town hall a year and a half later, they have new content to enjoy. This 18 month time frame is said to be about the time people take to max out without gems. According to Aino from the Clash of Clans team, esports and Clash of Clans would have never been a thing if the community didn't show interest. It was just not in their best interest. The report button in Clash of Clans and all Supercell games work in a similar way. What happens when you press report is that the game takes a bit of context of the surrounding conversation and that gets sent over to an AI that reads the conversation and tries to decide the gravity of the situation. If it's bad enough, it'll eventually get sent to a human team member. They will then determine the best thing to do. In other words, the game kinda knows what happened when someone was reported. 
So it's best not to abuse the button or you yourself might get banned. Kind of like a reverse card. All of the hero skins in the game are made by one person. When creating the royal champion, they had thought of the royal queen and royal princess first, but they didn't want to name her royal queen because we already had a queen, and not royal princess because they didn't want everyone to think that she's the queen's daughter. They went with royal champion because they wanted her to be something new. She was described more as the hero's bodyguard. Magic items used to be stored in the clan castle, but were later moved to the town hall. The Grand Warden used to hold a book of everything since late 2015, two years before books were added into the game. Of course though, when he was redesigned, uh, the book was changed as well. There is a one-time pack offered at lower town halls called the Kingly Offer, which costs $3 USD and gives you either a magical item or resources with 5 thousand gems it's been confirmed that this offer is meant for players who have never spent money in the game before to kind of tempt them into an offer that is truly a deal they can't pass after someone suggested higher town hall should get this offer too another pack appeared capped at town hall 9 with a little less gems but more goodies this was called the power level and it also cost three dollars when Clash of Clans was first released in China, the game was downloaded over 200,000 times in the first month. But here's the thing. The game used Google Play's payment services for in-app purchases, something that didn't work in China. It was a massive success that made no money. And all of that was done by accident. According to one of the animators at Supercell, the Party King appearing in the King of Clash trivia show took 12 hours per frame to render. Also, it's real time. The king wasn't put there after the video. The king is a guest in the show. It's like Snapchat filters on steroids. According to Supercell, some cases of reports have been so bad that the authorities had to be called. In 2014, Apple made some changes in their refund policy. The same year, Supercell had just released a huge update and people weren't too happy with it. So they started to get refunds from Apple claiming that they had felt the game had changed since they bought the gems months ago and they were no longer satisfied. Apple refunded them for every purchase they had done the past few months. And since Clash of Clans had no negative gem system, nothing would happen to the players. They would just get that refunded money and buy more gems. This all changed in 2015 though, when Supercell added this new system for refunds and you'd end up with a negative gem balance if you were to refund gems. The reason why there's way more king and queen skins than anything else is because the Clash team felt like those were more preferred since the amount of people who have the Warden and Royal Champion are considerably lower than those who have the King and Queen. Magic items in Clash of Clans sell for a ridiculously low price because the game wants you to use it and not just sell it or keep a collection of them. The Clash of Rama series was cancelled because the creators of the show wanted to do something else. Though we still get one-off episodes every now and then, but if you're wondering, where all these seasons went, well, there you go. The reason why replays get deleted in some maintenances and not others is because replays are only deleted when changes are done to troops, spells, or defenses. As we mentioned in a previous episode, replays are not videos. It's just a simulation of the battle based on where you tapped on the screen. So if a troop or building were to change, it could interfere with the replay and your replay would no longer be accurate. The costumes you see developers and community managers wearing in some update videos are actually made by a local Finnish company that partners with the film crew Supercell contracts to film those videos. The attack strategies you see in the practice section have all been created by the community. So every time there's a new town hall, Supercell waits to see what strategies people come up with before adding more practice levels. The Royal Champion was originally going to be a Valkyrie Queen, and that evolved into a Xena Queen mixed with a Wakanda Warrior type of hero. Before being added though, the Royal Champion was also supposed to be a jungle themed, but they decided to shift her colors into blue and gave her longer pants because Town Hall 13 had a winter theme. So they wanted the new hero to fit in perfectly with the new Town Hall. If you set your game to Chinese, 
The P.E.K.K.A. literally translates to Skin Card Superman. If you ever wondered how creator codes work, basically when you make a purchase in the game like gems, the gold pass, or any offers, it'll give the creator 5% of that total purchase. So if you bought a $100 offer, the creator gets $5. If you buy a $5 pack of gems, the creator gets 25 cents. The builder base was specifically designed to be a solo experience to kill time while your upgrades in the main village got done. Think of it as a mini game. The Grand Warden was a community suggestion made by a user named Abdul Ralph on the forums in 2013. Unfortunately though, the forums were shut down about two weeks ago from when I'm recording this video, so we're a bit late. We'll pretty much never know how accurate his suggestion was to what we actually got. A player once filled his clan with 15 of his own accounts and completed the entire clan games alone. One of the earlier concepts of the Yeti was originally going to be a chunkier, bigger, and beefier minion called the Giant Minion. Here are all of the original Headhunter concepts. When the gem box was first added into the game, people thought only one could spawn and used to put walls around it as a decoration. This is because Supercell said you can only have one in your village, and people thought that they meant you could only get one in your base, as in only one forever. The clan castle used to have many storages to allow you to see how much loot it had. Much like Clash Royale, Clash of Clans disable certain effects and shadows on older devices that can't handle them, but this is automatically done when you download the game. You can never really tell what setting you're on. In the Turkish language, the Igor artillery used to be called Tactical Nuke! <laughs> no, I wish, but close enough. It was called the Tactical Heavy Weapon of a War Jet. Then it was later changed to Eagle Cannon. Back in the day, if you upgraded a barracks and unlocked a troop, you didn't exactly unlock that troop entirely. You could only train that troop in that specific barracks because barracks were not connected. Years ago, Supercell claimed the top 10% players generate 50% of the game's revenue. 2019 was Clash of Clans' best year in terms of revenue since 2013. Obviously though, that's because of the gold pass and the increased interest. On the other hand, Clash of Clans' worst year in terms of revenue was 2018. Before changing your name was ever possible, there was a way to still do it. For example, if your name was Bob, and you contacted Supercell saying that Bob was your real legal name, and that you'd like to change it to something else, they would literally give you a free name change. This is because any offensive or personal information had to be changed under the terms of service. This is still possible today, but it is a bit harder, and you have to prove why you need a free name change instead of just paying for it, because, well, that's possible today. Balloons never used to explode and deal damage when destroyed. This was added in April of 2013. Once rocks are removed, they do not reappear. It wasn't always like this though. They used to respawn the same way as trees would. So guys, I think that should be it for these 50 facts about Clash of Clans. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think I've squeezed the internet for everything it had already. I mean, if I ever do a part 5, that'll be amazing. But. Like, I don't know if I can do that. It's been a heck of a journey. I mean, I've learned a lot researching for this game. Every episode has been fun to make, and I'm glad you guys enjoy this series. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a game me out. Peace!